All right, YouTube, to say that Bill Clinton has grown retarded in his old age is now an understatement. I'm going to refer to him as retarded in the title, but I think it's something worse than that. Uh, I don't know whether he just went to Colorado and smoked like 10 pounds of weed or not, but now he's saying that the Polish and the Hungarians, I guess because they don't want to take millions of migrants and swamp their culture and raise their crime rate, because they, they're kind of in favor of borders, and probably this has something to do with the Brexit thing because Obama came out in support of staying in and pretended that anyone gave a fuck what he said. Um, Bill Clinton has now apparently stated that the Polish and Hungarians especially uh, are, are like too lazy to do democracy and they're devolving into tin horn dictatorships. What the fuck is this dude smoking? You're, you're insulting two of our major allies in Eastern Europe that are like the most anti-Soviet, anti-communist, like pro-Westernization, that are simply tired of being overwhelmed by tens of thousands of economic migrants that have nothing to do with the Syrian civil war. The same Syrian civil war largely caused by Obama's own failed policies. Here's Bill Clinton also. He's not running to be the president of the United States. Now, if he's going to chime in and insult U.S. allies on the campaign trail like a total retard, then why is it suddenly unacceptable when somebody calls him out for his philandering or all of the shitty things he did when he was the U.S. president, like his failed assault rifle bill? Or uh, we would think of the Waco period. Oh, what a lovely time that was. Ruby Ridge sort of stuff. Oh, let's think. Hmm. Oh, oh, yeah, what about NAFTA? Oh, all of these good things he designed. See, the problem is Bill Clinton is not some economic powerhouse Teflon Don invulnerable head of the United States liberal movement like a lot of people think that he is. Bill Clinton reigned over an economy that was nice and, and stable anyway, that he didn't do anything to create those conditions. If anything, Reagan instituted the policies that helped the boom period of the 90s. I hate to say that, but it is true. The only thing he did was hold down spending just enough to run a surplus for a couple of years, and that's basically his claim to fame. Most of what he touched didn't turn to gold, it turned to shit. But I would think if Bill Clinton's going to get dragged out visibly on the campaign trail to talk about foreign policy, and then you have Hillary saying, oh, he'll be in charge of economic policy because he's a whiz kid at economics. Well, then basically you're asking people to vote for Bill Clinton 2.0. I would think, number one, it's a slap in the face to your feminist fans because you're essentially saying, I'm going to abdicate most of my responsibilities to my husband because he was already president and the 90s were okay, number one. Number two, uh, again, why can't somebody insult Bill and bring up his record? If you're going to talk about his record as though it was a reason to vote for fucking Hillary Clinton, then why can't I bring up all the shitty things that he did and talk about that's a reason not to back Hillary because he'll be back in the White House getting his dick sucked again. To go after the Polish and the Hungarians for wanting to have some semblance of border control, that's just screwy. These are two of our main allies. We just put the Aegis offshore system in Poland and Romania, uh, and then you're saying, oh, well, they're no longer a democracy. They're like Putin-esque style strongman T uh, tyrant politics. No, they're not. They're nothing even remotely close to that. They just got tired of refugees streaming in, and they're getting tired of waiting for the United States to really do anything about the fact that Russia invaded the Ukraine, and they saw that, and they saw that the U.S. response was, oh, here's some sanctions, and it made them feel nervous. Well, I'm not surprised that nationalism's on the rise there between these two issues. Can you blame them? By the way, when the UK leaves the EU, as it's probably going to do when it holds the Brexit vote, who do you think's going to vote next to leave the EU? It's going to be the Polish and the Hungarians, probably. They've just been slapped in the face by the husband of a presidential contender who still can't put the race away against a socialist. I'm sure that the Polish and Hungarians having to have suffered under, like, fucking Stalinist policies, I'm sure that they feel really positively towards Bernie Sanders and the party that he now represents, which is essentially the Socialist Party. I'm sure they feel great about that. They had such a great time under socialism and communism. They must be absolutely, they must be laughing at the people supporting Sanders. They're probably now laughing even harder at those that support Hillary because she's out of her mind. Her husband's out of his mind. You saw when uh, Hillary was giving that speech there, some time ago. What did Bubba Bill do? He stood there and he looked shell-shocked. He looked like he didn't even know where he was. He was just staring straight ahead. 
with his mouth open a little bit, with his hands behind his back. Uh, he wasn't like looking at the camera. He wasn't looking at his wife. He wasn't looking at the crowd. He was just sort of standing there with a shit-eating grin on his face. He was like drugged up or something. Apparently he's like on a vegan diet now or something. No wonder the man's mind's gone. Give that fucker a cheeseburger. That's what Bubba Bill always ate before. There's no re Hillary's already trying to make the whole country miserable. There's no reason for her to keep making her husband miserable by making him lose weight so that he looks better on the campaign trail. Here's a hint, Hillary. Your husband looks like a zombie now. We all remember slightly chubby Bubba Bill, who nonetheless, he, was, he wasn't like obese or anything. He had a little bit of pudge on him, and he looked kind of kid-like. And, and, you know, when he spoke, it sounded good, and he was, he was okay. He wasn't a terrible president by any means, even though he's nothing that the Democrats have trumped him up to be. <laughs> trumped him up, pardon the pun. Uh, but at the same time, I mean, get him off the vegan diet, give him some rum, because he obviously liked that, or whiskey, or whatever he was drinking before, before he went back into philander mode. Give him, like, a, a chance to rest from the campaign trail. If you drag Bill Clinton out, and he goes off script, apparently, and attacks several of our major allies in Europe, then you can expect some backlash. People are going to think that he's gone nuts. They're going to think he's demented or something. I think he is. But then again, I think the same about Hillary Clinton. When I hear the weird things that she says, the weird proposals that she makes, the weird pandering, it's, it's not like in the 90s when you expected the Clintons to pander. Now it just sounds weird because it's so out of place in the internet era because she's trying to combine that pandering to the same like now 50 something people she won with in the first place for her husband back in the 1990s she's trying to combine that in a weird way with the internet era she's like trying to pretend that she can meme that she can that she goes on 4chan or reddit or something and she's like hip to the internet culture now the only hip that you have is the one you broke when you stroked out and fell down and hit your head on the table and disappeared for a week which we all know is exactly what happened. Hillary Clinton is is not the sort of liberal dynamo she was in even like in 2008. Bill Clinton, he's completely washed up. I'm surprised the man can even stand because now it's it's he's proven that he's demented. He's proven that he doesn't understand foreign policy. It's like his uh his mind conked out in the year 2000 and he didn't study any modern politics at all he's still living in 2000 as though that's the way the world works with mediocre liberalism and mediocre multiculturalism that works fine because it's just a trickle of people into the western world he's still locked in that mentality maybe he doesn't even know how bad it really is in europe because he doesn't bother to actually look and see what europeans themselves say to actually look at the footage of people streaming across these fences in Spain, or rowing up on shore in Italy, or, or rioting in Greece, or the refugee camps in Turkey, and then these same people streaming in by the millions into Eastern Europe, some of which filter into Western Europe, some go north to Scandinavia, some for some unknown reason stay somewhere in the Carpathians because they're gluttons for punishment. If I was a Polish individual and I remembered the bad old days of socialism and communism and the height of the Cold War, if I remembered that sort of period of time, you're damn right I'd be a nationalist. I'd be the most fervent of nationalists. I'd be sitting there with a noose in my hand after the events that have happened in Europe now. And I'd be just, just as ready as I could possibly be for the inevitable Russian incursion that will draw no response from Washington, D.C. under an idiot like Obama or Hillary Clinton other than a strongly worded letter. Of course I'd be arming up. I'd be, I'd be expecting the Polish government to announce a nuclear program at that point. And I wouldn't even oppose it. I'd say, yeah, we, obviously we need a couple dozen warheads because we're not being protected here. Here we are in NATO, what benefit are we getting from it? It takes Obama years to deploy a system. I think Aegis Offshore, I think it was supposed to go up there in like 2014 and they're just barely even like getting it ready to set up shop there. They put the one in Romania, now they're waiting to put one in Poland. It's insane. We've abandoned all common sense as a nation to the point where what Bill Clinton is saying, he'll be like listened to by a lot of Hillary's fans. They won't even check the facts. They don't even understand the issue. They probably can't even find Poland on a map. 
They don't know where Hungary is. They probably didn't even know it existed as a state. And the Polish and Hungarians are mad. I don't blame them for being mad. Supposedly, we're all friends and allies, and here's Bubba Bill, former president, no less, and now the, the husband of a new presidential contender saying, oh, well, they're not even a democracy anymore because they want borders. What are you smoking, Bill? Retire already. Go to the old folks' home. That's where you need to be. That's about all. Peace out.